I have to congratulate you on coming out. You are now part of the community by being vocal about your stance of being your sexuality and feeling comfortable in your skin. Let me ask you, you've had a few days since you came out. What has this journey been like for you as you put yourself out there and get all this amazing love online from your fans? Man, uh, it's, it's been crazy. Like I, I, I like sit here and I like have these conversations with myself kind of being like, is this real? Like, uh, did I build it up in my head too much? Like all these years, uh, you know, with everything. Uh, and I had so much anxiety, like leading up to that moment that kind of like, as soon as it was out there and like kind of seeing how all of this has played out, I'm sitting here and being like, wow, like why, why did I keep it, um, you know, bottled up for so long? Like I maybe could have helped so many people sooner I've been getting flooded by so many people from all different walks of life just being like, I relate to this. I didn't realize how how much that, you know, rep representation matters and it does matter. Um, and I'm seeing that now. And I want to move forward and just be who I am. And I want to express who I am. And I still want to be Pauly. And I want people to understand that I'm a fierce competitor and I'm a badass. But now I'm a bisexual badass. And now like there's other aspects of me that you can see because I will express myself freely. Yes, well, I think what's great, I, there's so many things I love about what you're saying. I can totally relate to you when it's like, man, I wish I would have done this sooner. I totally get that's where you're at now, but it's one of those things where just enjoy the fact that you finally got here because now that you're here and you can be yourself, it's better that you did it now as opposed to wait later, but there's never a right time. It just feels like the time to do it, if that makes sense. So try not to beat yourself up too much, but it's a very normal feeling. Yeah, and, and I love that you just said that to me because that's the only thing that I am s saying and relaying to people who are messaging me privately being like, hey, I'm still not out. Like, I'm still, how did you get to this point? And I think you nailed it perfectly. That Like, there's not really a point. Like, there's not like a pressure cooker, like time moment. It's just something in, inside of you and internally, you almost like have a reckoning and you're just like, it's time. <laughs> I always say it's almost like the best deep breath you can ever take is as you're taking this deep breath, it's like all of this stuff comes off your shoulders because you finally are just like, oh, now I can just be myself. I can go live my life and wear my iconic right. shirts. <laughs> yes, like the first time you ever took poppers, it's just this. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's right. It just, you don't even care about the looks, you know, that you get anymore. Like I can just, wear my Speedos in peace at these resorts when I travel <laughs> and, have, and not even care. Just be like, yes, this is exactly what I'm wearing. And, and I'm going to continue to wear it. We should go back to being a melting pot. And that includes like everybody just being able to live their truth and live it amongst each other. So I hope that I can see a day where that happens. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to keep trying to be the person that pushes towards that, not away from it. You had mentioned that your girlfriend is also part of the community and she's very accepting of this as well. I'm just kind of curious how that dynamic is going because I love that. I wish we saw more of that. So can you kind of just talk to me a little bit about that? I would say I'm very fortunate because I feel like a lot of the conversations and questions that might be a little difficult in that situation for a, a lot of people um, just weren't. Um, but also what I am finding out is I am getting a lot of messages from couples who are like that and like married, kids, and everything. And they are like, this makes us feel so validated. These kind of conversations are what's gonna really help people out there feel less alone. And just feel like they can be themselves as long as we're safe, happy, healthy, do what you wanna do and have some fun. I'm in there um, and I appreciate you. Thank you for your time.